Hello and thanks for tuning in. Today you've got me on a very special day. I've come down um, to Wales and I'm on the River Dee. Um, it's a water I used to fish and I haven't fished it for probably 30 years. I used to fish it when I was a kid. A lovely stretch on the day. And this is the swim I've picked for today. And see, I've got a lovely glide. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be targeting this inside line down here. Just underneath the cover of these. Underneath the cover of the, of the shade here. We've got some nice deep water down this stretch here. And we've got some nice cover from this bank, from the trees, from the sun above. And as I say, it's down this inside line here. I'm going to try first. And let's see how we go. Okay, so this is my setup today. I've got my... Uh, 13 foot float rod, um, six pound line, main line, down to a two and a half pound upland. I'm fishing, Preston stick, 10 number four stick float, and then I've just plumbed up and I've worked out it's probably about seven or eight foot deep. So I'm shape button, shape button style trotting down to a size 18, um, and I'm going to start with double maggot and I can't wait to get in. There we are. Lovely little dice. We've just started coming in. Let's get it in the net. So the dates have definitely moved in. And what we're feeding today, I've got some maggots, some dead maggots and castor, and then I've also got, you'll see down there, I've all got, got, got some hemp. So a little update on the uh, session so far. We've been here about an hour now, and it's been steady bites. Um, probably every cast, if not every cast, then certainly every other cast. Um, just little, tell you a little bit about the swim fishing. Obviously, you can see, we've got this sluice coming out here, into the main flow. And you can see where the foam is, just going down this edge. And that's where we've been, what we've been doing is casting here, throwing a couple of maggots in there with it, throwing some hemp in a little bit further down, because really, what I'm looking to do, obviously I'm looking to attract fish anywhere along along this line here, but if you just see that bush there in the distance, that's probably getting about there, that's probably to the extent as far as I can see the float. So my ideal situation is that I want to be targeting them in this zone here, so I'm throwing a hemp in a little bit further down to make a little bed there and feeding the maggot here which is going down obviously with me float. So I'm having a lovely day here on the, on the day. Absolute glorious weather. We've been getting the days and I'm really enjoying myself and the worst possible thing has just happened and you're not going to believe it because I can't believe it. My rod's just snapped. Um, and there it is, that's the end of the rod, it should be on over there, and this rod is actually brand new, and what I've done is, I've just moved up the swim up there, and I thought I'll try this little glide here, try this little glide here, hopefully get some better fish, and I got into a better fish there, and as soon as I got into it, the rod snapped, and I just can't believe it, I've only bought that rod yesterday, um, and what I will say is, um, I got it from Anglin Direct, and it's an acolyte feed, it's an acolyte float rod, the acolyte plus. And I rang them, because that was the rod I wanted, and I rang them, and they said they've got one in stock. And when I got there, it was the X display model. Um, and I didn't really want to get it, but I took it. And that's what's just happened. So I can't believe it. And I haven't got another float rod with me. The only other rod I've got with me 
um, is is a is a feeder rod, and I haven't come here to fish the feeder, so I'm probably going to strip the uh, feeder rod down and put a float set up on that. And let's see how we can go. Um, but I'm absolutely gutted, so I'm going to do that and get back in. Just make sure it follows the line I want it to and yep and there we go. It's probably been the stamper fish that we've been getting all day. They're not great, but we've probably had about, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 of them. So we'll get that one in and we'll keep going. So, a little session update. What I noticed before, after I had that little bit of a disaster, I set another rod up. Um, I had a little go back up to that swim where I lost that fish, the one that snapped my rod. Um, I didn't do anything there, and I come back down to this one, and I've carried on here, and we've carried on getting the dace. There hasn't really been any, any bigger fish. Um, it's obviously a, you know, a proper day swim, this. But what I have noticed is this sluice behind me that's coming in, the power of it's seems to have lessened a little bit as the day's gone on um, and if we look at the river over there you can see the river's actually dropped a little probably dropped about a foot and it was much more powerful um, this this morning when we came and what I've noticed now is that where we were getting bites sort of down there well we tended to be getting them up here now and it's like as if the, you can just see still some fish topping over there I've seen loads of days topping but it's like as if they've moved up there, up here because it's not whatever's coming out of this sluice isn't travelling as far down as much. So what we've had to do, I've had to um, come up about a foot on my depth. I'm still using the same tactics and we're still getting them, but come up about a foot on the depth and I've just changed slightly where I'm fishing, but we're still getting them. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep doing it. I think I've got one on my line here. No, <laughs> something's biting. Probably a little minnow. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna keep at it. Do a couple more hours. So it's four o'clock. That's the end of the session now. Um, it's been a it's been a great day, lo lovely day, and a great uh, on a great river. Um, great weather, been really hot today. Um, so it's a day when it's worked for the dace, and it's been dace all day. Nothing to any size; they're only they've only been two and three ounce. We must have had about forty or fifty um, throughout the day. But it's four o'clock, as I say, time to go home now. So it's, um, I've just emptied the net into the lander net and I'll show you it now. It doesn't look much because they're only little but probably a couple of pounds. And there you go. Load and load of dace. I will put them back. And there they all go back there. So what I'm gonna do with as I say this is the first this is the first video on here um, that I've done. Where we've just um, we picked a swim and, and it's been mainly a, a swim that's held days, um, and I'm going to do a series a, sec a series of videos on here, so, and we'll go we'll try different swims and we'll see what different tactics we can use and um, and, and, and what swims hold hold what type of fish and why, um, and hopefully we'll get a picture of the river. So as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.